asked to do this plain clothes top work to do this sort of thing? Um, I remember writing this part in, in the memoir and all, this was actually in 2009, I was a rookie, it was 15 years ago and the thing that stays with me was the, the baby's voice in the background. You know, once the sergeant decided to spray the mace, it got on the baby, it got, even I inhaled some of it, that's why, you know, there was coughing, but the baby continued to cry. I heard those cries for days. I felt so embarrassed personally. You know, as someone who signed up to do this thing differently, I thought I could avoid these situations completely because of who I am. And I realized, as long as you go with the flow, you're gonna be part of the problem. We have to be a counter-current to how this, the direction that this thing moves in. But given contemporary issues and discussions, the sergeant thought he was doing the right thing. He just wanted to run his name. And if he popped on a warrant, it'd be an arrest. And if not, he would have given a, war uh, a warning. So here's the issue with a stop like that. If that gentleman had not been agitated, they ran his name, and he was clean, he would have been given a warrant, but there's nothing to document that stop, right? There's no way for us to know that this is happening. So the recent bill, I am telling you the city council did the right thing. Someone 15 years doing this, okay? Because the bill doesn't ask for his exact name, it doesn't ask for his address, his date of birth, it simply asks for his race, age, and possible gender. So we can see the data and see the patterns and realize where we need to push buttons, okay? So I wanna, as, even though this happened 15 years ago, it's very relevant contemporarily. Um, the next scene that we're gonna get into